we run an experimental design studio that combines computation and digital fabrication to sort of explore new ways of making one of a kind and customized products. This week, we're running a workshop with MIT undergraduates where we're building a giant metal sculpture using some software that we created, which looks at ways to create uh, very complex double curved surfaces just out of flat sheet metal panels. And we're also trying to help students learn sort of the mathematics behind how we do that so they can make their own sculptures and art pieces using the same technique. They've been enjoying it. Somebody said this is the best thing they've done at MIT. We have tried to avoid labels in our work. We have ended up under an umbrella of design largely because we make objects that people can afford that are meant to be kind of everyday in your life objects. That's what we enjoy. We want to make things that people can have in their lives. We regularly work with mathematicians, we work with biologists and other scientists. We work with people who work in computer graphics. We work with craftspeople and artists. The design seems to be a thing that naturally bridges between these different disciplines, so that's, I guess, why what we do is design. We are like really very grounded in just the practical art of making. You have to know how you're going to make something, how you're going to manufacture it, how you're going to sell it, what is it, <laughs> and then also how you're going to compute it. You know, the other good thing about being a student at MIT is largely the other students. There's a lot of, I feel like, opportunities at MIT to carve your own path that don't exist in a lot of places. And there were always really interesting classes in the humanities to take as well. Like I got to take classes on avant-garde literature and like surrealism and film classes and like all sorts of things that were totally outside of my major, but there was like space for that within the degree programs. The best thing about MIT was the Europe experience and being able to, you know, work in a real lab, learning from experts that are trying to solve a problem, and also getting a better sense of like what is a profession actually like.